And welcome to the islands of the Budzerkers Rage Tournament. What's up? All right, guys. So we're gonna continue off here today. We're gonna fight our uh, the rest of our first rounds and see who's gonna make it into the semifinals today. It's gonna be awesome. We got six fights lined up. Uh, may the best, strongest com combatants win. And in today's first round, we have Big Shot Team Big Shot versus Team Sky. Uh, let me actually zoom out here. Wow. All right. So it looks like obviously Big Shot has the big shots. But, he's getting wrecked. He's getting, uh, oh my gosh, yeah, alright. Wow, he exploded quite nicely. I guess because he has huge magazines underneath that, um, that hole of his. Oh, and he's up against a really tough competitor. The Supreme Daka of, of uh, Team Sky here. Alright, that's gonna be, that's gonna be tough. I don't know, he needs to land some lucky shots. And his barrel's pretty short, too. So we'll see how he does more. But alright, best two out of three. Now one thing I'm thinking is that the recoil from the big shot might actually be, yeah, it's kind of knocking himself around so his shields aren't as, <laughs> yeah, so his shields aren't as, um, well, uh, well, they're not really defending his underside as he knocks himself around, but he's still firing though, these big, gigantic shots are coming in, but they're just bouncing, oh, oh man, whoa, when they hit, they hit, is this gonna be a draw, oh my gosh, it's not a draw, what am I talking about, alright, so, <laughs> big shot won this round with a, Big shot, oh, right in that guy's hole there. That was uh, that was this, that, this hard hit for Team Sky. Also, another thing too, I love these uh, small block tournaments. I think I think for our next tournament, we're gonna do like 2,500 uh, blocks, and I'm gonna keep it there. I'm gonna keep it at 2,500 blocks, and uh, and just and just uh, because this is really fun, like like with just a small block count. And I think I'm gonna join too because this is this is awesome stuff. And I know there's repair tentacles on the back of this, they're not allowed, but they're not doing anything for this tournament. They're just there for looks, I, I feel, so uh, so he's not going to be disqualified. Alright, best two out of three, let's see the third round. Okay, and it's anybody's game. Serious Daka versus seriously big shots. <laughs> we'll see who comes out on top. Uh, Team Sky, I don't know, big shot is he's interesting to watch because he just knocks himself all around. I don't know how much more punishment he's going to be able to take. He's got to get a few shots out, and this doesn't look good for the team, as he's, his internal components are blowing up. And that looks very, very bad for a team. If he's not shooting, then that's that's going to be... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what went wrong. But I think he's going to be taken out, surprisingly. Surprisingly, the accuracy on... On, on, uh, Team Sky here. Oh, there we go. Okay. There we go. Well, that's... I guess that's the purpose of Daka, not necessarily accuracy. So, okay. It seems like... Yeah, there it goes. <laughs> that was a big one. That was... Look at all the blocks fly. I love it. I love it. It's like... When you get upset and you throw all your Legos across the room. Alright. So, yeah, this this uh, this match goes to Team Sky with the Hammerhead. And here's an interesting matchup. Two beautiful looking flyers. I like these blue colors. This is the Catcher Mix uh, Helicopter. And then we have, out there, we have uh, Delta Force. And, uh, wow, that's a lot of shielding. That kind of reminds me of, like, uh, the Borg Cube from, like, tournaments long, long ago. <laughs> it's just getting a flying out there blocking. Oh, wait, never mind. It's not necessarily a cube. But my gosh, it's a lot of shots coming at him. And he has, looks like he has one solid cannon, it looks like, yeah, he's focused all his efforts on defense versus a very offensive opponent, offensive mobile opponent. Who is going to take one another out? I don't know. Oh, this looks like the time to actually take one another out. The shots are dialing in to try and take out the quadcopter. Oh, and there's a hit, there's a hit. Let's see what's going on here. Uh-huh. Wow, this is like an aerial broadside. Very cool. Very cool designs, wow. And looks like they're both hanging in there, not... Oh man, both hanging in there. What a matchup. So the... Tons of shielding here. Really aiding. And Delta Force is coming around for another attack run as Ketramix, Team Ketramix, is sending a bunch of armor-piercing shots. But, uh... What the, what the, they're not really... They're kind of like way off, man. <laughs> they're like way over here. They're not really... Hitting... Hitting Delta Force. And Delta Force taking this few explosive. These look like pretty darn explosive shots. If, if one's gonna connect, I feel, I feel it's gonna spell doom for Team Catcher Mix. I see some pieces flying off. Looks like there's some hits. Oh, and a wing snapped off. Heli blades are lost, and it may just be a matter of time. That's a lot of repairs that need to happen uh, to get all that, all that equipment back on. I don't know. I feel the worst for Catcher Mix. It just seems to me like like the, the shots from Catcher Mix are just not accurate enough. You can see them flying out, but none of them are really hitting the target. I don't know. I, I feel like the way to bring down Delta Force is, is with some EMP, man. You gotta take out these shields with some EMP missiles or EMP some other ways. 
uh, high volume of EMP shots because yeah, this is this is uh, pretty much impenetrable. I would say shields and upon shields, a good engine design, no doubt about it. To fuel all this, the shots are accurate enough. I feel like this is oh, but he's rebuilding. He's got repair bots and he is rebuilding pretty pretty well. If he stays spinning like that, he may buy himself some time. This is turning into a pretty good battle. I swear, Delta Force, his ship dodges missiles. I think he has something set up where he actually senses a missile coming forward and he has thrusters on the side that actually engage. And uh, and make him like make him dodge missiles. I swear, I think that's what it is. Oh darn it! Oh, I didn't I missed that. Looks like one of the cannon rounds. Has destroyed Catra Mix. Oh, what a good fight that was. That was that was pretty darn decent. I thought um it was almost anyone's game, but Delta Force seems supreme. I mean uh something about that ship. I'm gonna have to look in there later <laughs> and see what's going on. I think he has some uh programming in there. And I checked under the hood of uh Delta Force, and he has some interesting things going on there, let me tell you. <laughs> well it definitely has some redundancy as a uh, few engines. All good things to note. And all right, and he's got that's right missile warners and all types of stuff going on. It's 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 good. It's all hidden within the hole. You could never tell, but it's all inside. Very good design, and uh, and but still, it's still anyone's game. I mean, like like this is still only round two, but we'll see if all these shots, see if they can anticipate where uh where Delta Force is going to end up. But nah, I don't know, man. Oh, he's coming in. He's coming in with these deadly shots. Let me tell you, one of these shots could end could end the quadcopter very easily. Oh my gosh, watch out, <laughs> watch out. Oh, looks like he's reloading. Ooh, looks like he's reloading. Let's take a look at the guns on here. Uh-oh, he's, he's really getting hit now. That looks like a solid shot. Oh my gosh, it's just a matter of time. I really like these mini cannons though on the quadcopter. This is sweet. Oh, darn, well, I got knocked off. But it's okay, because there's more. And it doesn't really matter. Look at those cool guns. They're so tiny. Very cool, who knows, maybe he might put a dent Maybe he might destroy the ship. Although, he's getting chased down. Oh, he's getting chased down. I don't know. I don't know if he's going to be able to keep up. Keep up with this damage. And here come a rain of shots for another attack run. I don't know. It, it seems like it seems like the attack runs, actually, for Delta Force seem to be uh, too far away. Because the accuracy just isn't there on both teams. So they're both missing each other a lot. Delta Force is a little more accuracy and tends to actually hit his target more. Um, oh! Oh, but I think that mountain gave him problems. Might have given him some problems. I don't know, it's 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 tough. Oh, let's, let's take a look at this. A lot of shots hitting him. But he's just kind of laughing him off. Oh, never mind! <laughs> he's not laughing him off. Oh, but I, I think I think he's still good, though. I think he's still... No! Oh, oh my gosh, the flurry of tiny shots. Is that going to be enough? Let's, let's, uh, let's track all this going on here. Uh, because he's gonna have a few more cannon shots going up, I'm sure. I'm sure that looks like he's repairing the front end. There he goes. All right, so he's probably gonna take off. There he goes. Oh, wow. Oh, that was a close call. Oh, man. And there we have it. Team Catcher Mix just was uh, on, uh, just fleeing, just running from Delta Force. And Delta Force had all the time to line up as many shots as he wanted. And, yeah, so there we go. That was it. All right, so Delta Force moves on to the next round. Congratulations. That was a, that was a good fight. That was a good prolonged fight. Nice. Congratulations. So starting off, our third bracket, bracket C, is uh, the Ultralight versus OC Drive. Way over there. Alright, so let's see, uh, <laughs> let's see, two flyers once again. Wow, alright, so, um... Oh, bombs! Bombs are always good. Bombs are good. Ultralight isn't quite that light. He's, he's tossing a whole bunch of stuff. That's not gonna help him out right here in this fight, obviously. Uh, and he's losing some pieces. Let's see what his competitor is here. This is, this is an interesting design. I'm seeing... Oh my gosh, explosion already. There we go. Uh, oh, from a laser. You know what? That's kind of funny. I haven't seen many lasers. This is like the first laser we've seen yet, offensively. And that might have downed the ultralight. Wow, what a cool ship, though. Look at that. Looks like it's made for an alpha strike, actually. A lot of cannons on the front. Severe aggression, but... Uh, oh, the AI is actually dead due to the laser. Ah, we didn't see that one coming, really. Didn't see that one coming. Okay, so, uh, best two out of three, look at this thing, jelly donut. So will the fifth circle OC drive be able to take out the ringer, ultralight, oh, <laughs> I don't know, he's got some repairs to do, he's got some stuff messing here, while well, we see his engine, that's, that's kind of nice, oh my gosh, two damaged, Woo! look at that, off the strike, I was right, okay, I don't know what did it actually, I wasn't quite, it happened so fast, but alright, so, this round goes to the ultralight. Okay, let's let's see that again. In round three. Oh, there he goes. Boosh. 
And a flurry of shots are coming from the ultralight once again, right at our opponent over there. Actually, I'm, uh, it's everyone's opponent, but alright, so it seems like the shields are holding up this time. The laser might be a problem for the ultralight. Yeah, okay, he wasn't able to down him. Some frags are getting through. Looks like some explosive rounds or something are, are hitting are hitting the uh, the man over there. Um, what's his Oh yeah, OC Drive, my bad. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to remember. And some missiles are coming at the ultralight, but uh, he's making a beadline, giving him the biggest alpha strike he can he can take uh, before he comes around for another attack run. This could be the, this could be the end for OC Drive though. This this could be it. If he can survive this, he may do good with the laser. Once he does some repairs, oh my gosh, they're actually going to collide. Wow, what a tank. What a tank. All right, I feel like the ultralight is in trouble now. He's getting chased down. Missiles are, are coming at him from all directions. This is the third round, people. This is to see who makes it to the semifinals. And the lasers, the lasers showing it's, it's repaired. It's showing its face. And this may be the end. If he's going to stay on his six like this, this could be the end. Oh man, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, it looks like he's slowing down. Engine's taken out. Missiles are making connections. There go pretty much almost all the engines now. Oh yeah, this looks bad. This looks bad. But the laser isn't very accurate. But I think this is, yeah, I think this is it. Alright. So, OC Drive. Well, I'm not gonna call it yet. <laughs> there could be repairs. Actually, it's anyone's game still. Yeah, balloon deployers. Anyone's game. Oh, and there we go. Laser found its target. Just found its target as he's passing overhead. Still no broken AI, no, no, too damaged yet. But I don't know, I mean, come on, man. I mean, if this, if this relent, unrelenting attack continues, Ultralight can't take all its punishment, can it? I like, I like how it's surviving, even without the use of shields. I can't believe it, he's taken off again. <laughs> what? What is powering this monstrosity? I don't know. Incredible. Wow, he's up in the sky once again with the help of, help, help of balloons. All right, well, let's see if he can fend off these laser attacks, though. That, that is a problem for his fast uh, speed design. All right, let's go ahead, let's go check out OC Drive over here. Uh, from his point of view, oh, he, he's downed, he's downed in the water. Oh my gosh, if the Ultralight can get his weapons up and running on the front, he should be able to plow into OC Drive. But uh, no, he's got a lot of repairs to do before he can start going on the offensive. Lasers just going nuts, and missiles are being sent at the ultralight from down here in the water. It's not 90% submerged, so he's still in play. He's not disqualified. He, he really needs to sink to be disqualified. Oh my gosh, there's another explosion. How much more punishment? Oh, that that did it. That totally did it right there. Looks like some magazines uh, went off after the ammo barrels went off. All right, woo! Fifth circle, OC drive. Yeah, wow, makes it makes it to the next round. But this this um this ultralight was inspirational though. It was really good for not having shields. And three more battles to go today on this beautiful Saturday afternoon. And we have Alienoid here with Metal Chunk versus uh, Cute Face Badger. And Cute Face, Cute Face Badger is actually disqualified because he has two ship submissions for this tournament. Next tournament, I'm going to allow multiple ship designs. But uh, but yeah, so he's disqualified. But uh, oh, it looks cute though. It looks cute. He's got like a little... It's supposed to be like a happy face on there. <laughs> it's not very happy right now. Not very happy. Okay. Um. Okay. Yeah. And come on, Badgers. Let's do this thing. Oh, I'm not doing the thing. Okay. All right. Well, looks like Alienoid wins this. Oh, actually, he did. Well, I mean, he did win because these guys disqualified. But yeah, I mean, hey, look at that. He's taking the hits. He's tanking it up. He's not destroyed yet. Oh, he's destroyed. Yeah. All right. So it's a nice try, Badger. I'll see you in the next tournament. Uh, yeah. You can you can bring two designs, two ships. Two or more, any any number of ships you want with vehicle uh, spawners, it's fine. But this tournament is one ship only. And here we have the Minecrafters team. Look at that, and they're going against, um, let's see, Craven Warriors. Craven Warriors team looks like they're a block of death. And uh, all right, but I'm not seeing, any, I'm not seeing any. Wait a second, this missile's coming from underwater. What's that all about? Wait, wait, is he dropping? What the heck is going on here? Hang on a sec, hang on a sec. What's going on down here? Oh, the missiles are going down and then up again. I haven't seen something like that. I don't know what that was all about. I gotta check his uh, programming. That's pretty darn cool. But it looks like the Minecrafters team's taking heavy damage. <laughs> because it's kind of like floating here. But there you go. There you go. All right. AI dead. And that was, that was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. Pretty cool. But uh, this was interesting. Oh, I see. That's what I thought. So he shoots out a bunch of projectiles. 
they sink down and engage? No, not these ones, but I think, oh, he's got a whole, whole ton of tricks. whole ton of tricks, this thing. Hmm. And I really like these Kraven Warriors, as, yeah, see, it looks like they're shooting, yeah, they're shooting all these missiles down below underneath, and they have a delayed, a delayed, uh, in, uh, engage, I think, for their missiles. Yeah, look at that, they fly up from underwater, and right at their target. I'm not sure if that's the most efficient, but it's darn cool, I'll tell you that. Although, it looks like he's kind of throwing himself off, he's not, he doesn't have quite the best balance here, as, I guess, the recoil from the missiles going under are, uh, exposing his unshielded sides, which may be tough for this bracket C. I don't know, we'll see, this actually might work in bracket C, now that I think about it. There's a lot of other flyer competitors. But yeah, he's sending, I mean, a whole hail of missiles are coming up from underneath the water, which I think is really cool with the, the uh, delayed timing. <laughs> there they go! They must have lots of fuel tanks. But, uh, alright! But I don't know if he's gonna survive, though, because there's a constant beating, a constant nitpicking coming from the, uh, coming from the water here, from the Minecrafters. <laughs> For the Minecrafters boats. So I don't know if, if his uh, fancy strategy is gonna work. Ah, because the missiles are kinda like going wherever. Yeah, they're kinda going revs. Ooh. We'll see, we'll see. Maybe some of these are gonna connect. These are getting in pretty close. And he's taking damage up there. He's launching missiles in all types of weird directions. All types of weird, uh. <laughs> <laughs> but he might be beaten by the Minecrafters. Oh, if he gets overhead, this could be this could spell disaster. This could spell disaster. Craven Warriors are now dropping bombs. Essentially, oh, some hit. They just need a hit here or there. Oh my gosh, looks like he's missing. <laughs> he's missing the Minecrafters. Oh no way! <laughs> Minecrafters. I like pontoon boats, man. It gets two thumbs up for me. And the Minecrafters won this round. Ah, oh, go figure. Oh, sometimes simplicity is bliss. Who knows? Okay, so I'm curious to see what Minecrafters have to say about this. Actually, his front gun isn't even shooting. <laughs> I wonder what they have to say about this fancy box. Fancy box of missiles. We'll see. We'll see what the Craven Warriors, if they can actually land a hit. Oh, looks like their laser designated receivers are on on point, or at least they're all functional, but he's kind of, oh man, he's just like somewhat vulnerable here with just a single shield underneath. Can he do it? Oh, this looks like some missiles are fighting their way. How come missiles aren't fighting their way? They're like curving around, man. All right. Wow. The whole of that. Oh, there we go. All right, there we go. Jeez. <laughs> that was a really, that was a really intense fight, man. Okay. So the Craven Warriors move on to the next round for uh, for Block C. And for our final fight today, we have the Skull Crusher versus Team Malak with the Clown card down below there. Pretty neat car, as as uh, it's it's uh, it's pretty much like a hovercraft, honestly. Oh my gosh, wow! Ooh, that EMP blew something up over there. Um, yes, and an interesting fact: the Skull Crusher is only 500 blocks. It's only a 500 block jet. Very cool, very intricate. And uh, and he said he said he thinks it's enough to take on anyone here in the tournament. Ooh, I might be right about that actually, because it looks like this uh, all the repair bots are very 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 busy here trying to repair the clown car after that last attack. Curious to see. It looks like the underneath got blown out. Yeah, that's a that's that's gonna be a problem. <laughs> that's gonna be a problem. And this guy's just flying around shooting missiles. He's got some armor penetrating shots, some explosive shots, EMP shots are raining out. But we got some flares here too, but the flares are not being fooled. And this guy's getting hit. Alright, looks like the main battle cannon is firing on the clown car. It's pretty decent. It's got some armor to it, anti-armor. But to hit that flying target, that's gonna be it's gonna be a tall order. We'll see though. Wow. So 500 blocks versus uh, like 900 something here. Curious to see if this jet's gonna do it. And the jet's coming in for an attack run. And he's pretty darn fast. He just flew away. Maybe a little slower might be better for an attack run. I don't know, but I guess he's gonna avoid all types of stuff. Missiles are coming in. The EMP is to bring down shields, but uh, Clown Car shields are still up. At least the front one is. He's trying to anticipate this jet, but it's just so fast. Oh, he might smash into a mountain. <laughs> um. Could actually hit a mountain. Maybe he did. Um, I don't know where he went. Oh, and on the other side of the mountain, he did. He smashed into the mountain. Oh, man. He was going so fast. He went plop. All right. Well, I guess the clown car wins this round. How unfortunate. Okay, so can the clown car pull off another win? And can the skull crusher... Woo. Can he avoid the mountains, really? That's, that's, that's a big question. Can he avoid the mountains, I would think? Because I don't think Skull Crusher's cannon's accurate enough to... Oh my gosh, yeah, there's no way he can leave this target. Even with flares aiding the guidance of his shots. 
I don't think he can actually uh, lead the shots quite far enough. We'll see. Let's actually try to follow Skull Crusher for a while. See what a day in the life is for him. All right, so <laughs> a day in the life is very intense. Oh, millions of missiles. Well, not millions, but a millions for such a small ship like that. Lots of damage output. Whoa! All right, looks like Clown Car is deciding to go on land. See, that's the thing about these battlefields, man. We uh, we have some land in the way too. It's not just all open ocean. It makes it interesting, and you gotta you gotta calculate. You gotta get ready for it. Okay, so wow, Clown Car is upside down in a pool of water. I think that spells disaster, but uh, Skull Crusher might he might smash into a mountain. So who knows? <laughs> it's anyone's game right now. It's anyone's game. Although this attack run, it could it could finish off Clown Car. Oh my gosh, there's no shielding on this side. That's unfortunate. He has nothing to flip himself over with. He might actually blow himself up with those um, flares. All right. Oh, this looks bad. This looks bad. He's still alive. Can't believe my eyes. It looks like the Clown Car is correcting himself. He is essentially a flyer slash hovercraft. So there he goes! <laughs> he freed himself! Oh, what engineering prowess! I don't know what his cannon's gonna do. He needs to- oh, now he's flying. <laughs> he's a flying, uh... Uh-oh. Yeah, it looks like an engine or something got, got wrecked. He lost his power once again, but he's making some shots on the underside. I don't think- he, he's just- he's just having a rough day. He just can't quite win. He can't win today. Rough day all around. If he could flip around, he might be- he might be good. But repair bar- repair bots are very busy. Very busy on this hole. And there are a few armor penetrating shots desperately trying to get to the skull crusher. But as we can see from here, oh actually this may be the opportunity right now. Flares coming out to aid in accuracy. This is this is the clown car's chance. Can he do it? Can he do it? Oh, he might have gotten a hit. Or Skull Crusher might just be in space, one or the other. And he's just okay, there we go. Looks like he's back in the atmosphere. Oh, he's going all out. He's going all out. I don't know if any of his shots are gonna connect. Oh, they might! I can't even- the camera can't even follow up with Skull Crusher. Oh my gosh, did he actually get hit? Oh no, he just initiated his balloons for a split second there. Missiles are coming down from that attack run- and oh my gosh, no! Too damaged! Skull Crusher went into the mountain! Oh, what a day! What a day! Wow, that was epic, man. Alright, well... I, I don't- I really don't know what kind of programming- I guess fly higher? I guess there's certain ways you can uh, adjust your flight. So you can avoid mountains a little better. Whew! That was intense. Alright! Congratulations, Team Moloch. You are the final winner for the uh, Bracket C. And you move on to the semifinals. So alright, I'll see you guys next time. For the semifinals, we're gonna have six matches. And we're gonna see who's uh, who, who are the finalists.